Right then, hello and welcome back to another workout. Thank you once again for joining me. If you haven't met me before, my name is Lee. Welcome to my gym. So today what we're going to be doing is a 20 minute um, kettlebell full body workout. Now, I've got a 16 kilo kettlebell right here. You choose whichever um, weight um, suits you best. First exercise we're going to be doing is a kettlebell swing. I'll give you a quick demonstration of the first exercise. So, kettlebell in front of you, nice wide stance, stick your bum out, good strong grip of the kettlebell, and we're going to point towards ourselves in between our legs and swing it up. And as we swing up, we're going to, we're going to thrust our hips forward, nice strong movement, just like that. Breathe in on the way down, nice sharp outward breath, swing on the way up, nice tight glutes, let's go. Good, strong hip movement. That's it. We're halfway through. We're going for 35 seconds each exercise. We're going to have a 25 second rest. Okay, that's the first exercise done. Next exercise, we're going to have a push-up lateral with a lateral movement. So you can either have your kettlebell standing upright, or you can lay it down on the ground for a little bit more stability. We're going to start off with the plank position on the kettlebell. We're going to move out to our left and press. And then switch over to our right. It's quite a hard movement you can, if you can, help to keep the kettlebell upright. That's just slightly, slightly easier, I think. That's quite a difficult one. It's slightly easier having it upright, so there's a bit more space to place your hands rather than having the kettlebell tipped over on the side. Okay. Next exercise, we're going kettlebell swings again, but this time we're at the resetting. Now this time we're using a squat in with the, we're going to be squatting in with the swing. So as you swing it up, we squat down. Next exercise, we're back down on the ground. We're doing skull crushes. So on your backs, cap up above your head. And this is for the triceps. And we bring that cap up down, just below, just above your head. And that, uh, oh, let's get rid of that. Get the hat away. Okay, next exercise. We're doing squat press. So, I like to have the kettlebell up on my chest and I hold it like this. Close to the chest 
And we're going to squat down and lift up. Now you can hold on to the, you can hold on to the horns of the kettlebell. Up for holding on to the ball and press. Just feels more comfortable. You might call this a, a goblet squat press. Okay, next exercise, we're doing halos. So you want to grab your kettlebell by the horns, up to the chest, and we're going around the head and reset at the chest. Left and right. Let's go up to the chest, around the back of the head. Tough on the shoulders. Right, next exercise. Oh, I can't talk. Right, next exercise. We're going around the world. So this time I grab onto your kettlebell. We start off in front of you and we're going to swing it around the back of us and to the front. All the way around and back again. Left and right. Okay? Try to keep your body as still as possible. Really engage that core. We don't want to, we don't want to swing too much swing. We don't want your hips swinging too much. Engage that core. Keep the body stable. Okay. Right, we're going. We're going right side lunge. Take that lunge stance, that lunge position, and we're literally just going to drop that knee, that right knee down to the ground and stand back up again for the full 35 seconds on that right side. Exactly the same thing, 35 seconds. Here we go, get ready. Let's go. Breathe out on the way up. 
Ready? Exhale. In on the way down. Keep those arms nice and tight to the chair, to your body, to your sides. Control that movement. exercise we're doing goblet squats. So a bit like the squat press that we're doing. So hold the cup in the exact same way. Up to your chest and we're literally going to be squatting down nice and deep and standing up again. Okay, let's get ready. Here we go. Nice deep squat all the way down. Exercise. I've not done this exercise before. It's called a wood chop. So we're down one knee on the ground, we've got our kettlebell holding by the horns, and we're going and left side first, down to our hip, and up to our right shoulder. Okay? seconds we're going again. Ready? Let's go. So we are, if you count bow above your head, and we're marching, right arm up, above your head, nice and strong, nice straight arm, high knees, just marching on the spot, don't forget to breathe. Nice, powerful arm, keeping that above your head. And down. Okay, next exercise, we'll do the exact same exercise, but we've done it on the left side. Nice, strong arm, the kettlebell high above your head, and we're marching for 35 seconds. And this will be exercise number 15. So we're nearly there, we'll have five left to do after this one. 
Okay, let's get up. Kettlebell nice and high above the head. Marching, nice high knees. If you have to for a bit of stability, stick that arm out. If you have to even hold onto a wall, hold onto the wall and see if you can let go of it periodically. If you can't, then you've got something to work up to. Okay. Right, next exercise we're doing kettlebell lunges. Just going to hold it by the side. Get a lunge forward. As we stand up, we're going to swing the kettlebell over and swap sides. Ready? Let's go. Sorry, I messed that exercise up completely. Ah, oh, oh, that's better. Ah, oh, wow, what a difference. My mistake. Listen. Oh my god, that one. Once I've got that one right, I've never done that one before either. That's the first time doing that exercise, so I wasn't 100% on, on the technique, but once you got the technique right, what a difference that made. Okay, next exercise, upright row. So kettlebell in front of us, and we're putting it up to our chest. Get 
10, 9, one more, 10, oh, oh my word, the final exercise, oh, absolute killer, full body kettlebell workout in 20 minutes, I'm done, what a workout, ready, for the final time, Three, two, one. let's go, one, two, three, four, five, five more, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, oh. Oh. what a brilliant bit of kit the kettlebell is, there are so many exercises you can do with it and they're all so tough but they're so so good, core strength, power, just brilliant. Anyway, thank you once again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please hit that like, hit that subscribe, it's really helping me out build my channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much, I'll see you next week. See you later.